Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I'm starting my food prep for the week, and this week I have a little list of the things I need to get done in the next few hours. First up, I'm gonna start with some egg muffins. You guys have seen me make these before, um, but I do make them quite often. Also wanted to know, I haven't put up a food or meal prep video in a few weeks, and that's because I felt they were very repetitive. Even though I have done my food and meal prep, I didn't film because I, I, I just felt like they were very repetitive and I don't wanna keep putting up videos every week or every two weeks of food and meal prep of the same items. So comment down below and let me know. Would you guys care if they were pretty repetitive? Because I do tend to make a lot of the same things every week. So I make a lot of like hard boiled eggs and egg muffins and sometimes I'll do quiche, I do chicken salad, I do egg salad, I do pasta salad, um, and then I throw other things in the mix. Um, so let me know, would you guys just prefer me keep the food and meal prep videos to like more of a minimum and share with you only once in a while or do you want me to just keep posting even though it might be repetitive definitely let me know um, i have two home chef meals that i saved for meal prep um, so i'm going to do a pasta dish for lunches and some burritos for lunches as well and then i also have a package of scone mix from christmas it's like a peppermint scone mix that I want to make um, as well because otherwise it'll get thrown in the back of my little you know pantry cabinet and I'll forget about it until like next year so I want to go ahead and make those I'm going to start out with the egg muffins if you are new here to my channel I do have an entire playlist of these videos along with a cooking playlist a what's for dinner playlist and a what's for lunch playlist so feel free to check those out they're linked down below let's go ahead now and get started all right guys, I got all my stuff ready to make my egg muffins. So I just have 12 of the uh, little, little uh, silicone um, muffin ho holders or liners. Um, I have my eggs mixture with, um, this is about nine large eggs, which yields about 12 um, of the egg muffins when you add in all the filling and the cheese. And then I just put some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, and some parsley and whisk it all together. Uh, I've got my sharp cheddar cheese. I actually had it frozen. It's thawing out, but it's it's good to go. Um, and then for fillings this week, I again I've mentioned before I like to use up everything you know I have to use up in my produce um, and meat and cheese drawer. So this week I had some sandwich pepperoni and then some black forest ham to use up, like just a little bit of each, the perfect amount. I have some yellow sweet bell pepper and then some chopped up jalapeno and then some little cherry tomatoes that are chopped up. So I have everything ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these now and pop them in the oven. Alright guys, they're ready to go into the oven. They usually take about 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, always preheat your oven, so I'm going to pop these in and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Okay guys, these beauties are done. They smell so good. Matt just asked me what I was making. So I'll probably have one right now and I'll probably give one to my husband because they're really good. But anyways, um, the couple that we eat, uh, the rest I'll put uh, let it cool off and put in like a... Tupperware and I've mentioned before these are great to grab throw in the microwave in the morning for like 30 seconds and run out the door if you need to um, They're also great to pack and eat like room temperature as well um, They're just really easy and I've been making these for years I really like the everything with the bagel seasoning on top. It just gives it a little bit more flavor But anyways time to move on now to the next 
All right, guys, as part of my meal prep this week, I'm using a couple of my home chef meals that I got. So the one of the things that I'm doing is the Italian sausage pasta with Brussels sprouts. And this is two servings, so this will be two lunches for myself. So I'm going to go ahead, now that it's Sunday, and get it ready and have it for lunch Monday. Um, and then either again Tuesday, or I could use what's left as like a little side dish with a dinner or something. But regardless, it definitely won't go to waste. So I'm going to get my Brussels sprouts sliced up. I've got pasta to boil. Got to get my garlic. And then I've got my little white cooking wine and my um, cream and everything all out and ready to go I have my pan ready here so i'm going to put this together and show you guys how good it looks for a couple lunches for the week Alright guys, this pasta dish is done. Again, this was the Italian sausage pasta with Brussels sprouts. I did taste it, it's really good. It has like a white wine, um, creamy sort of sauce and it's really, really good with all the flavors. So all I have to do here is just wait for this to cool off and then I'll put it into a larger container which I'll show you in a minute. And then I have a couple portions ready for lunches or again, I can use whatever I don't eat for lunch as like a little side dish with dinner, but I'm really, really impressed with this one. It was really easy as well. Um, and of course, if you're somebody that's just learning how to cook or trying to learn how to cook, all the steps are always on here, so you really can't mess up. If you can read, you can cook. So I'm gonna let this cool off and then move on to the next. All right, guys, this is all set. I'm just gonna put the lid on and put it in the fridge, and then I'll have it ready to go to heat up. All right, guys, so next up in my meal prep for the week, I'm doing these Cuban steak burritos. So what I plan to do is cook everything. So the um, I'm going to do the potatoes and the meat filling and then get everything ready. And all I will have to do um, is just assemble it, but it'll be ready to go, kind of like a meal kit. So this will be perfect um, to take. Uh, I'll pack one for my husband's lunch and just get it all ready in the morning since everything will just be ready to assemble and then I will also have one for myself for the week so I'm going to go ahead and get the potatoes going the sweet potatoes all right guys so I have my meat with my jalapenos and my seasoning all cooked and ready to go I've got my sweet potato side all cooked and ready to go and then I have my tomatoes chopped up my cheese already came portioned and then I have my tortillas for when I'm ready um, to assemble everything so I'll show you guys what it looks like when I have it for a meal Hey guys, it is actually Tuesday January 1st and Matt is home from work today I just totally spaced that he would be home. So I made the uh, Burritos that I prepared everything on Sunday and it's late Tuesday morning And I decided rather than go with two of the burritos I put everything into one because they were absolutely huge and then pan fried it like the directions I added the tomato and cheese I reheated my sweet potatoes, so we each have a half of a massively huge burrito because honestly, I don't think we would, would have been able to eat a whole one each. Um, so I just did double meat, and everything I tasted, um, the filling, a little bit of the filling fell out, and it tasted absolutely delicious. So this really came in handy for a quick, hearty lunch for us on Tuesday when Matt is home. All right guys, the last thing I'm doing in this week's food prep is I made some scones using this scone mix that my mom got me for Christmas. It's the peppermint chocolate chip scones mix and it was really easy. You just add water and then drop it onto here. So I'm just waiting on my oven to preheat and these will be great to grab in the morning with coffee and pack my husband for lunch for the upcoming week. Um, so yeah, definitely wanted to use these up so they don't end up in the back of my cabinet and not get used because I have a feeling they're going to be really delicious so i'll show you what they look like after they are baked and cooled off all right guys here are my chocolate chip peppermint little scones from that mix they're actually really good i ate a piece of one already i'm going to give this one to matt and i'm going to have this one now since they're warm i'm just going to let these cool off 
and then I will just wrap them or put them in a gallon bag. And again, they'll be good for coffee or to pack my husband um, for work, like for a little snack, but they were really good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's meal prep, food prep video. Um, I know it wasn't like my normal routine, but I do do things different every week. And like I explained in the beginning, with this week being coming off the holiday, New Year's, and then my son being home from school, I really needed to be able to take advantage of the convenience of Home Chef, um, as well as something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <music>